Hello everybody, this is Brent Scott and you are watching the Blitz CNE channel. Well, right in front of you here, this is a C6 brake conversion that I've done on a C4 Corvette, which is my 1990 Corvette. And uh, I do plan to road race this car. So this is a very popular option that's out there for the C4 Corvette guys is to upgrade to C5 and C6 type brakes. Um, uh, you know, I had a C5 Corvette before and I was always amazed how well the brakes had worked on it. So I can only hope that this is somewhat similar to that experience um, because it was pretty good. Uh, I was pretty amazed with the C5 braking. But anyways, real quick, I'm hoping to give you guys a bit of a Reader's Digest uh, video of doing this conversion. I spent a lot of time um, researching the forums on this and watching some videos and it, there's some pretty good stuff out there but i thought there was kind of some missing details that i struggled with and i wanted to share that with you guys if you're planning to do this conversion so i'm going to switch over to a different camera view and i'm going to take you through uh, some of the part numbers and show you a couple things to watch out for so hang loose and we'll move over to the parts table all right so I got you over on my table here with the parts that for this conversion. Uh, forgive me for the, uh, I switch over to my GoPro head cam and make it a little bit easier to finish this video with my hands free. So first off is the rotor. So one thing uh, that was misleading on the forums, they talk, my car came with the heavy duty 13 inch rotor. It's uh, the Z55 package or whatever, handling package came with the heavy duty. So they actually came with a 13 inch rotor, but the big problem is right here on the cup, there's quite a, there's an offset difference. So this rotor is actually for C5 and this one's for the C4, but there's actually about a 400 thousandths difference. It's, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's between the offset. And what happened was using the standard one on my C4, even though guys had said that it would work, it actually rubbed it was too far back on the abundant here, the brake bracket, caliper bracket, where it rubbed. So I don't know if I just was doing something wrong or I missed something, you need a spacer. So uh, one thing you'll want to do is, is before you tear your car apart, kind of mock it up and see how it works. Because I quickly found out that without doing some different stuff to the rotor, I wasn't going to be able to use the 13 inch. So that was the first thing I thought that was kind of deceiving. Uh, that. I didn't quite understand or I missed the whole point of it. But anyways, so if you're going to do this kit, plan on buying C6 rotors or C5 rotors. Now, the only difference is, and I'll show a chart between the rotors of the C5, C6 is about one millimeter difference. There's a less of an offset on the C6, but either one works well. So whatever one you choose, uh, it'll definitely do the job. Uh, so as you can see, I powder coated this one. Uh, two things I was hoping to do by power coating, well, a couple of things I would say is one, I wanted to give it a little bit better aesthetic look to it, but also two, um, I was hoping to protect the surface area. Obviously, the brake pad will wear this off around here where the brake makes contact, but the areas that it doesn't make contact, I'm hoping that the powder coat will keep that area protected because obviously, as you know, like we don't like to drive our cars to the rain, but when they do, sure enough, you get those rust spots, those ugly spots on your rotors. Um, so we'll see how well that worked, especially on the C4. When I had this rotor on there, there was always like a quarter inch or so that would show up with a rust ring that always bothered me. So that's why I powder coated these um, to kind of give it a little bit of sex, but hopefully too with the grooves, uh, it'll give a nice little cool red accent. We'll see how well that works in the future. Um, if that turns out to be a good good move or not. All right, so here is actually the caliper. Um, so you would think right here off the bat, this is the powder coated, you see. The, the, now the, it looks like the C5 uh, Z06 version came painted like this, but this is actually for uh, the C6 version I don't know if it actually ever came on the car or not, powder coated like that. I don't recall. Um, but it is this, you can buy this brand new from GM, which I liked, and it was already powder coated. So that was a double score in itself. But I guess they say uh, the C6 uh, caliper itself is a little bit more beefier than the original C5. I don't know the differences because I haven't really compared the two. But anyways, but the one note, if you do buy this, you can buy it brand new. 
but it comes with if you see in front of you the brackets this is the I guess it's the heavy duty J55 bracket I think is what they call it and basically this this caliper allowed you to run a 13 and a half inch rotor on there well I have 17 inch rims on there I'll show you they're an aftermarket like zeal six style rim they're 17 inch but uh, I didn't have clearance in front of it in the side but up top there was some rubbing so I could not make them work so if you're gonna run this caliper with 13 inch go for the 13 inch uh, I'm sorry 13 and a half inch rotor you'll need a minimum of an 18 inch rim also too even so this is the other bracket standard even with the standard setup if you have the later model C4 Corvettes with the uh, with the saw blade rims you you still won't be able to run the C5 the C6 conversion uh, there's an inner lip or something that or I don't know if it's the inside of it or the from top to bottom there's a clearance issue that I've read um, I didn't have those rims so I put aftermarkets but just be aware of if you have that car and you're thinking about doing this you're gonna have to come up with a different rim if again you need an 18 inch rim to run the heavy duty um, but if you have a 17 inch that's aftermarket um, they allow you or the zero one type aftermarket 17 inch you can fit these on there with no problem so I have some part numbers on the caliper itself and whether you want to do this I just wanted to get the I liked it, it was already powder coated but the part number is an AD 172421 and that's the left hand side now I'm just going to read this same one so it's the same number for the right ADO 172 is actually and that is the right hand side so the only difference is the last number two is for the right hand and one is for the left hand side but it's kind of nice that you can buy it brand new still now I've seen this caliper for the C4 in black but I wanted to get a red they sell this by itself apparently um, but it doesn't come with the bracket uh, abundant caliper you have to buy that separately so however it works out but I got a smoking deal off I bought this off one off of Amazon for like 90 bucks and I found the other one for 180 bucks at Summit so if that works out for you then hey great so if you go my route that you bought that caliper now that here is the standard caliper it doesn't come powder coated I actually powder coated it myself but you can buy this brand new and this is the c6 base model remember you got to do it not heavy duty because heavy duty will give you that for the 13 and a half inch rotor but the base model is for the 13 inch rotor so you can buy this part direct out the GM and I think I got the two of them for about 110 bucks uh, it's the part number is eight eight nine five 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 one eight and again that's eight eight nine five 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 one eight and you buy these two they're not directional same part number you buy them um, and then you don't have to, they come kind of already like with an anodized black on there but I painted them powder coated them red so you will need to get this uh, if you're running a 17 inch rim you'll have to go this route you're going to not going to be able to use the bracket that comes with it and of course you can find these used too and I, I believe the c5 again if you're hard up for money there's a lot of different options or you know you could probably even do it cheaper but like I told you earlier I didn't want to mess with any used stuff so one other thing to can consider is I actually changed the brake lines uh, out I used I bought and this is one something that I read the guys had done that they like apparently you can use your c4 brake lines they'll fit but they might be brittle or might break but this brand right here stop tech makes it this is a c5 uh, brake line that you can easily put on and it retrofits pretty easily the part number is nine five zero sixty two five hundred and I bought these off Amazon I think they're 50 bucks but it's pretty cool uh, it's a braided line it pretty much fits on there works out good and then they, they give you a banjo bolt and they give you actually some copper washers with it um, but it might be worthwhile to do it uh, I hear guys can fit the regular line out there but for 50 bucks more uh, it's kind of a simple little insurance I think and then plus you don't have to worry about it getting being too tight so I just I went ahead and bought it um, 
And some guys say with the steel braided, it actually makes the pedal a little bit firmer. I, who knows if that's true or not, but anyways, something to consider in your conversion. So the last piece right here, this is just a common bracket. I actually picked this off of eBay. Uh, got it from a guy on there. Uh, I believe his name is Dale Griffin. But anyways, interesting story. I had bought a lowering kit uh, from somebody that was out of California. I'm not gonna say their name. Seemed pretty decent people, but they also sold the bracket zone. I went to go buy the bracket from them. Um, they uh, took my money, but they never sent the bracket. And I emailed them once and they, 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 they responded back to me and I asked them when it was gonna be in, but then that's all I never I ever heard from them. They never actually sent it. And I, luckily for my bank, they it went through PayPal. They were able to recover my 180 bucks, but be careful who you buy your brackets from because uh, there is a group out there, especially in California, that uh, I don't know if you're gonna get it or not because who knows what their deal is. Uh, but anyways, this this guy is on eBay. I think he's been around for a while, and uh, I've seen his name on the forum. But it's a nice kit. Comes with good hardware bolts and stuff like that. They seem to be pretty good strength. And he has a he has a little uh, direction sheet that he gives you to go through. And actually, they show a parts breakdown. That I guess they did a job. He said 650 bucks or something. I don't know for the whole kit. But it's it's all C5 parts um, now. Obviously, if you're going to get C5 stuff, you could have to get used stuff. But anyways, and there's another sheet right here. But yeah, if you wanted to contact this guy's eBay listing, he's on eBay. You can look him up. He's 1976 LS1 on eBay. His kit's for about 175 bucks. That includes shipping. His name is Dale Griffith. Also, you could contact him by email at DCG ls1 at comcast.net but um seems pretty reasonable but i think van steel and a, a couple other companies make it as well so whatever you choose they all seem to be relatively the same um i guess some hardware is probably better than not but this guy I, i've heard some decent reviews and he was at least honest uh, compared to the first guy i uh, dealt with anyways so that's the end of the parts bit here and if you have questions feel free to make a comment or email me and I'll I'll do my best to guide you um, but I'm going to take you to the car now I want to show you how to break it down and then how to convert it in the next part of the video